What is everybody? Dr. Bacon of the Dragon Piece here, and we are back with some more Through the Ages. So, when we last left off, we had delved down into, if I can get in my door, we had delved down into the depths and brought back actually quite a lot of stuff. I am quite happy with our haul. So, this episode, after that bit of exploring, I wanted to do a couple of things. First of all, I wanted to make our house vaguely presentable, because right now it is hideous. And I also was thinking about... I was thinking about making a farm, but now I'm actually not so sure. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear. I'm not entirely sure what all we're going to do, but we're going to get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to throw some of this iron in the furnace, just to get some of that cooking. We're not going to cook it all right now. Um, but we'll just get that uh, get that started. So I have a couple ideas for what I want to do with the house, and it requires quite a bit of resources. So at this point, I'm not sure if I'm going to speed this up or cut it out. It depends on how long the video ends up being. But we are going to gather some wood, we're going to get some sand, and we're going to get some stone. Um, I'm going to head back. We have a fair bit already. Actually, yeah, no, never mind. We have plenty of stone. Never mind. Um, so we're going to get some wood, and we're going to get some sand, and I will... That chicken just fell off a ledge and hurt itself. You are a failure, Mr. Chicken. You are a failure. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that, and here we go. So as you guys can see, it is getting dark. I just made an iron axe real quick so I can get some more wood. I'm gonna get as much as I can before it gets dark and then I will go hide inside uh, for the duration of the night and will return once that has passed. We're not gonna be fighting anything right now. Um, but I would ask that you stay tuned because I've had a thought about something else that we might need to do this episode if I am to bring my plans of house building to fruition. So. Stay tuned. And we are back. So I did go ahead and put some windows in over the night. And this house already looks much better. However, we do have some neighbors, as you can tell from that. Because, uh, yeah, the stone foundation does not reach around the corners, which I forgot about. I also did some cooking um, for a couple of things. I cooked some... Uh, sand, make some glass, hence the windows, and I also cooked some stone um, because I had an idea that I then remembered what version we're on, and that is a pressure plate, not a slab. Slabs are made with cobblestone, which I had forgotten about, so we'll be making lots of those, but we will get there in a bit. So, Current mission is to get out of my house without getting blown to smithereens. Okay, doesn't look like anything else is around. And boom. Well, not boom, not boom, not boom, which is kind of the idea. 
Okay, so yeah, already this looks much better, but it's still not quite what I want. So I'm gonna do a couple more things. I'm gonna keep getting some more wood, uh, not a whole lot more. And then we're gonna make some slabs. And then I also was thinking about having a second story. I'm not certain about that. I'm not sure how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna do some experimenting. But part of the reason I want a second story is because I want a balcony. I don't know why. I just always kind of wanted one of those that isn't like on a mountain or something. Because it's, it's, it's one thing when you're on a giant mountain or whatever and your balcony sticks out over your domain. But having just a normal balcony in a house, um, actually last time I did that, I also had a fireplace and I regretted it. Um, that's a longer story. So, I also apologize if my commentary is a little kind of vague and boring. I am very tired right now. It has been quite the week. But hopefully this is, uh, this is somewhat entertaining for some of you. Hopefully you're still watching. Uh, like I said, stay tuned because I have ideas that I think you might have an interest in. All right, so let's go ahead and put the logs in place. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to take fall damage. Oop, two, three, four. As long as I place it before I hit the ground, I think I'm fine. Okay, now I'm actually going to take out the skylight, I think, um, because like I said, second story. So let's just go ahead and experiment uh, and see what a second story looks like, ideally without taking fall damage. Just get an idea. Because I think if I do two stories, I'm going to need to add some depth, but I'm not really sure how I want to do that. That can be kind of tricky. I've got a few thoughts, but I'm not sure how they're going to materialize. Oh, wait. Really? Oh! <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm over it. Alright, um... And we also need a way up. Let's make some ladders. I think we can make ladders, right? We can make ladders. Can we make ladders? We can make ladders, yay. I think I may have already made these. I'm not sure what for, though. So, right now we'll just put them outside while we're under construction. So I'm thinking maybe if I do like this, would that look weird? If I like put it one layer in, let's find out. Sorry if this video seems to be speeding up and slowing down at kind of random. Um, that does look kind of weird, but I also kind of like it. I think it's unique. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it how it turns out. I think if we do the balcony idea, that might help. There's also a zombie underneath me. And I realize I'm cutting down like all of the trees here. I'm trying to replant them, but they're not decaying very fast. And I don't really wanna sit here and just rip down leaves. So we're gonna do what we can. I may chop down that giant tree over there um, real quick. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's try the balcony idea. So I'm just thinking something pretty simple. I can't crouch. This is a little dangerous. Yeah, just something basic. You know. Maybe have, like... Fences all out here. Fences. So fences is a problem. This is kind of cool. It's also kind of weird. Maybe maybe I shouldn't do it in the front. I, I, yeah, I don't think I should do it in the front. Fences, fences, fences. Hmm. So I'm not entirely sure how exactly I want to make the balcony idea work. I'm not certain at this point in time. Again, I'm not even certain I'm gonna keep this building style because um, it is gonna be kind of weird in combination with the balcony. Um, so what if we did the balcony like out here? One, two, three, four, five. 
Oh. Oh, right. Ow. Good grief. The cave noises are just un are just unrelentless. Are relentless. Uh, actually, I have an idea. I think I know what we're gonna do. I think I know how we're gonna make the second story work. I'm gonna go ahead and cut or speed up. I'm not sure yet which, but yeah, okay. I know I know how we're gonna make this work um, without doing this weirdness. I must get another iron axe. But as you've heard me mention, fences presents an interesting problem because let me show you a small issue. Fences don't exist. But you see, here's the thing. This is not Minecraft Alpha Survival. This is not the Minecraft 1.0.15 Let's Play. This is none of those things. This is a little series called Minecraft Through the Ages. And I think with a little bit of magic and a little bit of suspension of disbelief, we can make a balcony and we can have our fences. So, if we call upon the deep magic of this world and our little time machine, we can move forward to a time with fences. A time where chickens don't accidentally kill themselves by falling off of cliffs. A time in the past's future. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Wait. 1.0.16. That's not right. Why are we here? Something must be important here. We're, we're close to something. Oh. Screenshot. The historic... Minecraft Herobrine screenshot. Only two versions out. Huh. I guess our time machine got pulled off course. Could be worse. This version did indeed make history. But this is not where we want to be. Alright, here we go. Duh! <sighs> 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 And here we are, Minecraft Alpha version 1.0.17 underscore 4, and it's getting night. And let's see, chickens can flutter. No more, well... I think no more dying of fall damage. I'm pretty sure I still just heard one get hurt. But, we are here, and my settings are messed up. We are here. And would you look at that? Interacting with doors has an animation now. Chickens flutter. My skin is working again, which it wasn't for a little while. I just stopped questioning it. And... If I'm right about this... Fences exist. The texture is really derpy, but we're not gonna worry about that. So, a few interesting things happened in the interim between this version and the previous. As I mentioned, this is a waypoint system. We're not just jumping through one version after the next, because a lot of them are bug fix versions, or just introduce a really small amount of content. So by jumping the way that we have, we've got quite a few new features to play around with. Um, including, like I mentioned, a new creature in the night. The odds of running into one anytime soon is next to none, but it's there. Fences are here. Interaction animations are here. And a whole plethora of other uh, little things that just make life nicer. There's also a bit of history to this version. Um, uh, Noob Sniper, also known as Cod for Nub, who uh, has a very strong language, so I do not recommend uh, uh, if you are uh, adverse to such things. 
started his Minecraft Let's Play in this version. He inspired a lot of people, myself included. Um, he helped certain people find X's Adventures in Minecraft, which was the arguably more famous of the series. And yeah, so here we are. Our first time jump was successful. I have all my limbs. I am intact. My world appears to be intact. Unfortunately, we may not be so lucky in the future, uh, but for the time being, we're here and we're fine. We are ready to make a balcony when it turns day. I'm, I'm not messing with that at night. And we are back and it is getting daytime. So let's see if we can survive the outside, which is a genuine, genuine question at this point. Looks pretty safe. I saw a couple of creepers wandering around, but I can't see them now. So I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and get back to work. Uh, like I said, I have an idea on how to make the second story work. So I'm going to get to that. That zombie looked huge for a second. I'm gonna get to work on making our house look better. So I apologize this kind of a smorgasbord of an episode. It's just kind of like house building and also time travel and also uh, other stuff, but such is life. All right, so that looks so much better. <laughs> okay, that looks a lot better. So that's basically what I had in mind. I may do another circle of logs at the top before the roof, or I may just go ahead and do the roof, but either way, that looks a hundred times better. So I think we're gonna, oh no, oh, I ate my, I ate my, uh, my cooked pork. I think we're going to make the balcony up here and we are going to need another ax. I know I'm kind of chewing through iron pretty fast here, but that's okay. We've still got another stack I haven't even cooked yet. So we're gonna make another ax and then we are going to make our balcony. So let's get some more sticks and make some more fences. Now fences are a little different at this point in time than they are in the present. So it will take some wrestling with to get them to cooperate, I believe. Um, I don't think it'll be as bad as the stairs, although uh, I did cut out the stairs, so you guys didn't have to watch that. But, and maybe we can even make the out, ow. Maybe we can even make the outer layer of the balcony out of logs. Actually, yeah, that, that sounds kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just find another tree real quick. Now that we've kind of cut down most of the trees in the area, we need to replant, regrow. So yeah, I know this isn't the most exciting uh, first waypoint as far as like nothing huge is changing, but it's the little quality of life changes. And once we do build a farm, which we are going to, uh, the fences will be very, very useful um, for keeping that safe. Um, chicken fluttering is just kind of a cool thing. Um, so yeah, and I don't, there's not gonna be five episodes in between every waypoint. I just wanted to kind of settle into things before we jumped ahead. Um, so that's why it took a little while before we got, got going. Um, there we go. I think that's nice. And then we can put some fences. Now the question is, I don't think I can make the fences float. So we may have to go ahead and make it, well, Okay, there's a couple of ways around this. Okay. Let's see how this is gonna work. Um, so, actually, I don't need to. So yeah, so fences at this point are just straight blocks. They don't have the texture of a normal block, but they act like normal blocks. So 
I cannot get out of here uh, at all. So they're just they're normal blocks with the extra height so you can't jump over them. So yeah, this is actually totally fine. Now can I place torches on them? No, I cannot. Okay, that is good to know. So I think we'll just put torches here and here. And then we're gonna put some windows uh, on this floor as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have them be identical, but for now we can just open it up and we'll fill it in glass later. Uh, yeah, there we go. I may have make this one five wide? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so we have beginnings of our house. Well, not the really beginnings. We are most of the way done with our house. So I think I'm gonna call it there. I have no idea how long this episode was between all of the resource gathering that would have been sped up and of course the time travel. I have no idea, but our house is actually looking pretty nice. I'm actually pretty happy with it. So yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Welcome to the uh, first episode in which the point of the series is actually uh, come into use. We are moving through the ages, and this is, uh, this is a pretty cool version of Minecraft Alpha, and we will keep moving forward, probably, like I said, at a faster rate than we have been so far. Um, I can't promise anything, but yeah. And I'll, as always, suggest anything you guys want me to do. You know, if you want me to make something with that cool pond we discovered over there, or that lake, um, what to do with the sand area. Leave any suggestions, any comments, concerns, anything like that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Dr. Bacon, and I will see you all later.